All right, here we go. Let's take a look at multiplication and division. Awesome, so fired up here. Check out this quote by Tony Evans. A negative mind will never give you a positive life. So true, so true, Tony. Um, but in this section, we may learn two negative minds could actually give you a positive life. How is that possible, you ask? Let's find out. Double negative. Boom, here we go. Let's talk about multiplication. And I know you guys know how to multiply, but let's talk about what does it really mean to multiply? Well, check out the situation. You buy three tickets for $5. How much did you spend? Well, some people could say that I bought three tickets, so $5 plus $5 plus $5. Easy peasy, Mr. Rust. I spent $15. No worries. That's great. So is there a faster way? Like maybe what if I bought 27 tickets? Or do I want to write 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 27 times? No, I'm going to write 3 times 5, and this is probably the old school way I used to write it. Or I'm going to do something like this, 3 times 5. So what is multiplication? It is just repeated addition. That's all it is. We're just going to add repeatedly. So repeated addition. My handwriting is looking a little rough today. I hope yours looks nicer than that. You can pause it, write that down. It's just repeated addition. So. We are going to multiply, just to make sure we're all cool on notation, we're all on the same page here. So, like we said, you could do something like this, three times five. We are gonna get rid of this x because we're gonna start doing algebra, and that's a variable we use all the time, and it gets confusing. So don't use the x anymore, let's x that out. Oh, uh, I prefer the dot, three times five, or the parentheses, three times five. These are, these are the two we're really gonna use. We're gonna kind of phase him out, so let's just kind of cross a line through him. Don't wanna use that guy. Uh, we're gonna to move to either a dot, and a lot of times that dot's just kind of understood. Excellent, like in this case, really it means three dot five. We're going three times, and there's just some parentheses there to show you like a little grouping symbol. Awesome, so let's go ahead and check out what it means. So what we're doing, we're doing integers, which if you recall, is positive and negative numbers. So as you can see down here, I've got some positive negative numbers. Let's jump that over here and really focus on this word problem. So if I buy three tickets for $5, so imagine this, here's $5 whoosh, to this. If I'm buying three sets of five, three sets of five, well, what am I doing? I'm just buying three sets of five. I'm just timesing this by three. There's my $5, there's five more dollars. There's that repeated addition, plus five, plus five, plus five, or I can see that I have $15. So if you can think of three sets of five, boom, you're good to go. Well, how does that relate to negative world? Ah, so if I'm gonna look at it negatively, let's say I owe somebody, I borrowed $5 from somebody. Well, I would owe them $5. Can I still take three groups of negative five? Sure, I'm gonna get more negative. Well, I borrowed another $5. I borrowed, another, they're not even, another $5. But I'm minusing five, minusing five, minusing five. I have three groups of negative five, so what is my answer? Sure, it's right there. It's negative 15. So we're gonna focus on what happens when you multiply a positive times a negative, you're gonna get a negative answer. Isn't that pretty cool? Awesome, well let's think about the next one. What if I wanna go, I'm, I still have these $5, but I'm gonna go in the negative three directions. I want negative three groups of that. So if I'm gonna go in the negative direction, well here it is, I'm, I'm not gonna redraw it. It's negative three groups of five. I just, instead of going three times this way, I'm gonna go in the negative direction, so a negative times a positive is also negative. Here's where it gets crazy though. What happens if I want to go uh, negative $5, which I know is normally to the left, this is negative $5, but I wanna go in the opposite. This means going the opposite direction. So instead of going uh, more left, I'm actually gonna flip that. Woo, I'm gonna flip that around and go this way. Boom, and I'm gonna go this way again in this way again. So I took this negative five, if I go in its negative direction, so it's going back the other way. That's so weird, but when that happens, when I go a negative times a negative, I actually get back to a positive. So this is actually going to be positive 15 right here. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and start doing some multiplication. Fantastic. Okay, let's get some rules going for this bad boy. Make sure we're cool and we're good to go on this. Fill this in. So when, you, if you're, when you're multiplying here, uh, we call it the product. When you multiply two numbers, we call it the product. So if I multiply and the signs are the same, so check it out. This is a positive times a positive right here. This is a negative times a negative. What happens here when I go positive times positive or negative times a negative? I get a positive answer. The answer is gonna be positive. So that's gonna be the key to this section right here is making sure you know what your answer is. So fill that in. 
uh, when the signs, another way to think about this is, or I'm gonna write out here, a positive times a positive is positive or a negative times a negative. I personally like to say, hey, if the signs are the same, they're both positive, both negative, I prefer to say if the signs are the same, then I know it's positive. What about if the signs are different? So look at these middle ones. This I did a positive times a negative. This one I did a negative times a positive, and I got a negative answer. So uh, I like to think of it as if the signs are different, then I get a negative answer. When I, this is only for multiplication. So we can think about it as, if it comes up here, a positive times a negative is a negative, or a negative times a positive is a negative. But again, I prefer to think about, hey, what's going on? If the signs are different, they're different signs when I multiply, the product is negative. So have those rules down, jot them down, wherever, whichever method you like to, however you like to remember them is totally cool. So here's an even shorter way if you want to jot this down the margin or something. Same signs, positive. Different signs, negative. That's just the quick rundown. So if I have a negative two times negative four, first we gotta know two times four is eight. Because they're both negative, I get a positive. Awesome. So these problems should be fast. This is great. Negative four, so a negative times a positive. I know my answer is gonna be negative. Then do the four times the three is 12. I see the signs are the same. These are both positive. So I can just say, oh yeah, three times six, 18. So if you like your times table, if you like multiplying, you're gonna crush this section. Uh, what's anything times zero? If I times it by zero, I just have, it's always zero. So I just wanna throw that in there, make sure you're cool on that. Can I do two or three or four? Yeah, you can keep multiplying. Just go in order like from left to right. Um, and actually with multiplication, it doesn't really matter, but just kind of keep it, I'm just gonna go left to right. So if I go two times negative five, what do I get? I get negative 10, and I'm gonna put in a little grouping sign. Bring down your negative three, so combine the first two, I get negative 10. A negative times a negative gets me back to a positive. This will be a positive 30. So don't freak out. Maybe you'll do a couple multiplications in there. Just follow your rules and you're good to go. Awesome, that is it for multiplication. Fantastic. What about division? So think about the word problem. It's almost exactly the same. Slight tweak on it here. You go, if you paid $15 for three tickets, how much did each ticket cost? So what are you doing here? Well, I know I paid $15. How am I gonna figure this out? Well, we're gonna take my $15 and divide it into those three tickets. So what am I doing here? Division is really just unmultiplying. That's kind of weird there, unmultiply. I have to sign that out. Unmultiplying, so it just means unmultiply. So 15 divided by three is what? It's five, where before I did three times five is 15. So we're just undoing multiplication is all it is, or I guess repeated subtraction if you can really wrap your brain around that. Uh, what's the notation for this? Well, I just showed you one right there. Uh, the main one you've probably been using is 15 divided by three, and we've been doing this one all year whoosh, with ratios, 15 divided by three. So we're gonna use either one of these. We really start to phase out this division sign and just go really to a fraction bar. Sometimes you'll see some people write it uh, with this backslash, like in a calculator it looks like this, um, or on a computer maybe. So you may see that sign. So we're really gonna phase out this division sign and kind of move into the fraction bar. Love it. So let's real quick divide. Again, it's a times table. If your times table is rough, like if you've skated by this far and not really learned that, do it now. It's only, you're only gonna thank yourself. Future self will like you better uh, if in the when you have to multiply all year long and next year, the rest of your career. So get an app, start multiplying, learn those times tables. So real quick, there are the rules. The rules are the same because we're on multiplying, it's the same thing. So 15 divided by three, we did that one, that's five, it was $5 per ticket. Or I may say, what's negative 24 divided by four? So a negative divided by a positive, signs are different, so it's gonna be negative, and that's gonna be, what, six, negative six? Uh, a negative divided by a positive, again here, good example, Mr. Bruss, same one twice, but just a different notation, that is negative four. What about a negative divided by a negative? Oh yeah, there's a positive, signs are the same, so that's gonna be a positive five. Fantastic. Just the division, or I'm sorry, the negative sign could actually be in the bottom here. So 28 divided by negative seven is actually going to be a positive divided by negative. And then that's gonna be negative four. Fantastic, so the negative could be on top, it could be on bottom. Sometimes it's even out in front. You may have a negative 28 over seven. You just do this, which is four, and then bring that negative on down there. This is the same thing. So whether it's in front, on top, or bottom, you're gonna get that same negative answer. Awesome, what happens when you divide by one? If I divide it into one part, it stays the same. So it's still nine, uh, signs are the same, so we're just chilling nine. What happens when I go nine divided by zero? This is impossible, you, can you can't take something divided into zero parts. I can divide into one part, it doesn't change. You can't divide something into zero. Like here's my candy bar, I'll divide into to no parts. Not gonna happen. This is, we call it undefined, or you can just write impossible. We can't divide by zero. 
And in the finale, could I mix it together? Yes. Now this one, it does matter. You must start with like it's the whole top being divided by the whole bottom. So I must start on top here. Can I combine uh, 4 and negative 3? Sure. Positive times a negative is negative answer. So that's going to be negative 12 divided by 2. Now what's a negative divided by a positive? It's going to be negative six. So I can give you some a couple step problems there. That's it. So again, we're going to practice our multiplying. If your times table is rough, fix it now. Trust me, you'll be happy you did. Good luck on the match check. Peace out.